The live streaming of parliamentary proceedings commences today. As we speak, this sitting is being streamed real time on MCI's YouTube channel, which is accessible to all. There will be two live streams, one with English interpretation of speeches made in vernacular languages, and one without. As with current practice, the full video of each live stream will remain on MCI's YouTube channel for a period of six months after the end of the sitting. All currently available avenues to access parliamentary proceedings remain. This includes attendance in person from the Strangers Gallery, online video clips uploaded within hours of a sitting, and the written records of the Hansard, which are also available online. These arrangements already give us the full benefits of transparency, accountability, and accessibility. With live streaming, members of the public will now also be able to watch proceedings in real time without having to be physically present in Parliament. As I explained in September last year, the government has agreed to this in view of the global and technological trends which have made online streaming more feasible and enabled legislatures around the world to live stream their proceedings. Even as we seek deeper engagement of our citizens through the live streaming of parliamentary proceedings, we must preserve the integrity and dignity of Parliament as a forum for serious debate on national issues. The member has asked how concerns over the potential impact of live streaming on the quality and tone of parliamentary debates can be mitigated. Ultimately, the responsibility rests with all members of this House, present and future, who must continue to uphold the highest standards of conduct and decorum as we engage in the cut and thrust of parliamentary debate.